ngau mai te marama, queen i o te rangi. <laughs> like the moon tonight? Good. I did it specially for you. Oh, the name's Arthur, second son of God. Hardly anyone recognises me, but no worries, my big bro had the same problem. I've been sent to save the magic in the world, but first I've got to find the Queen of Heaven. I won't know who she is until I see her, and then my work begins. It might take a few miracles, but the world's about to change. For the better. Uh, speaking of change, you couldn't spot me a 20, could you? Well, the inspiration from the story came from the time when I was living in Ponsonby and working amongst the psychiatric community there and uh, came across a character by the name of Arthur. He used to come and visit me often and sit down and tell me that he was the second son of God. It started me thinking often after he left, what would it be like if he really was the son of God and I was missing all the signs and that was probably the seed which uh, got me started on the whole idea of fictionalising the life of a psychiatric patient. What I think is the secret to Arthur is, Arthur is, has got to be a, a combination of comedy and pathos. And it's through the comedy that you're going to get the warmth of it. He's, he's not deluded in his own mind at all. There's no identity crisis going on with him. He knows exactly who he is, and he knows what the, what's happening in the world. When I read the book, I knew that this is the role that I wanted to play. I'm, I don't think I've been more passionate about a role than playing Arthur. 